this Instagram account has only posted 23 posts and has gained 151k following. And these are all AI generated posts, not an any single manual post over here. And you can see all the posts has got more than 100k view. There are some of the million view. 12.8 million view so you can see the capability of ai generated video over here so today we are going to make some more such kind of videos where just passing the idea i'll show you the google sheet by just passing this idea so you can see i'm just passing the idea and we are going to generate the whole five second video over here if you want you can generate more five second video more five second video and however long you want and then you can combine the video and then you can generate a single video which we saw just now i will make such videos in the future because first i want to lay the foundation of how everything works then i'll combine more such videos to uh, in the future if you want to see such videos please mention in the comment box so that i can make such videos for you as soon as possible so let's see the demo so let me run the workflow so what is happening now? So from the Google sheet, we are picking uh, only one item, which, whichever is approved. So we can have multiple ideas over here. You can make another workflow, which will generate the ideas over here. And you can manually come over here and do the approve part. So once it is approved, so it will only pick one of the item. And first it will generate the image for it. So once we have got the image, so from that image, we are going to generate the whole video. And this all videos are kind of POV video. It means you imagine how it would be if you are in that scenario. Next, if we see you are being born as the Zuckerberg uh, son over here, then you are a kid in uh, Egypt. It means that you are putting yourself into that scenario. Let's see what is the result now. So as you can see, the image has been generated and video has also been generated. Uh, what was the kind of idea? So idea was kind of riding a horse across the desert during a sandstorm. And if you see the image, such an amazing image it is uh, drawn over here. It's kind of a HD image. So you can see you are sitting on a horse and there is a sandstorm over here. Let's see the video. So when you click on the video part and now we can see the video, such an amazing video. So now let's imagine this is kind of a only five second video we have generated and we can combine such so many video and we can create such an high definition short video which we can post to Instagram, then uh, YouTube, then kind of uh, TikTok, LinkedIn, wherever you want. Just one video, every, every social media and you will grow your content over here. So let's see how we can make this. Let's go to the workflow and try to now make video for this kind of idea, which is kind of scuba diving near a coral reef, teaming with the marine life. So let's go to the workflow and let's start understanding how it works step by step. Also at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what is the total cost to make such five seconds video. So now let's go over here. This is kind of a normal trigger. It could be any kind of a trigger. I'm just using schedule trigger over here. Okay, let's start it. And now using the Google sheet, let me run it. In this Google Sheet account, we are connecting the credential. Then we are connecting the uh, sheet where we have all the ideas. And now we are filtering on the one of this column, which is approved status. And we are getting the item, which is kind of value is approved. Okay. And we are checking this return only first matching item as true. It means that we'll only get the one item and not many item which are approved. Okay. So now we'll pass this idea to the AI agent. Now this AI agent is the main brain. This is the brain, which is giving us the prompt, that POV prompt from which we are generating the image as well as the video. So let's see how does this AI agent work. So inside this, I'm just giving a small prompt for the user side. Here is a short user product description in which we are passing this idea, scuba diving near rural cave. Okay. This is the main thing, system prompt over here. And you can see the system prompt has everything. First person POV image and video generated prompt. Okay. We are giving the task. You are an advanced AI specialized in the transforming a short user provided description into a hyper realistic cinematic first person POV prompt. This single prompt is optimized for both text to image and text to video AI model such as Flux, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, Runway Gen 3 Alpha and Pika Lab. So we are uh, defining over here that the task is to create the realistic first PO person POV prompt over here. And there are multiple things we have included over here. There, is a, there are rules and guidelines and there are uh, scenarios and cinematic details which we want. We want like lightning, color, scale, so many different things. And also we are giving the example so that it understands properly. So if you want this prompt, I'll be giving this template in the description box. You can download it from there. Okay, so let's move forward. Let's do the test step. So let's click on it. So now you can see we have got an amazing prompt over here. So now let's move ahead. Now there are multiple steps. First, we are getting the item from Google Sheet. Then we are going to the AI agent from where we are getting the prompt. Then we'll pass that prompt to the image where we'll generate the image. And from that image, we'll generate the video. And again, we'll store the image and video inside the Google Sheet. Okay, so now it's time to generate the image. So to generate the image, we are using the Flux over here. And to get the Flux service, I'm using the Pi API over here. Okay, so let me show you how does it look like. This is a page of Pi API. So from one API, we can access all the multiple models over here. 
So I'll show you what are the different models. From here also you can see we have mid journey model, then we have flux over here. We also have the clink. It not just it not just work for the image. It also work for the video generation. And also there is a Dipsy LLM, so the kind of LLM models over here. There is the music generation. There are multiple things can be done using kind of one cost. So from the one kind of service over here, we are getting all the models over here. So you don't have to go to different different models and pay different differently. Just pay over here and you can use any kind of a model whichever you want. Okay, so we'll go to the workspace. So this is the look of the workspace which uh, we'll be showing. And by default, you will be getting zero point two five dollar. And and believe me, I have used it so many times. Still, I have zero point two one five five dollar. So this is dirt cheap over here. Okay, I am only using this for the image generation. Okay, so let's go to the image model. We'll be using Flux one. Let's click on that. And, and now we will get our API key from you. X API key is from here. Okay. And to see the documentation, you can come on the top part and you can click on this book icon and we'll get these are API docs over here. And from this thing, we'll be going for a flux and we want to create the task. Also, we want kind of flex to image over here. Okay. Now, how does this thing work? And this is not for the flux part. This is, on, this is applicable for most of the uh, models out there. So first we do the create task. So now we have to call this ID again and again and to find out does are the request that we had submitted is completed or not. If not completed, then after then we'll wait for some time and we'll hit it again. This is called as polling. I'll show you in the uh, polling in the entity workflow. But this is how mostly how all the models work. Okay. So now we can see we have our API over here. Okay. And we'll be using this flux one Chanel model over here. Okay. And I'll show you cost at the end. So don't worry, stick to the video because I'll be showing how does the post costing works over here. Okay. Let's go to the end end workflow. And now we have the HTTP uh, request over here. We can cl click on the plus icon, search for HTTP request. Okay. We'll go inside this. We want a post method inside this we want the url so to get the url click over here and we'll get the url we can copy it over here and now we need to paste the header so for that we'll, uh, we'll come over here we'll click on generic credential type then we'll click on the header auth okay and we'll click on the pi api why are we doing this we could have easily done send header right kind of a api key over here but we need to again do the same thing in the next node so in the next node we can see we are again calling the pi api so over there again we have to write our api key so and then people have made such an amazing thing over here just write once so we'll i have created my pi api header over here and i can use this header wherever i am using this pi api node okay so to create this we can come over here create new credential and over here we need to write in the name what we can go we can uh, go over here and you can see in the header parameter we need to pass this x api i can click on this it is copied in the name part is kind of x hyphen api hyphen key and to get the api key as i showed you earlier we have the api key over here okay i can click over here copy and i can paste it over here i have already done this so i won't, I won't be doing it again and don't forget to mention the name over here okay close this and now we have our header over here and inside let me uh, close this header i was showing you okay and now we need to pass the body over here so instead of this body we have this prompt and from where did i get this so if i go to the documentation again and from here you can see i got from here okay i just need to change whichever model i want and i need to change the width and height because i want vertical image so in the in over here you can see for the vertical image we have 720 cross 1 uh, 1280 and the prompt which we generated from the ai agent and we are using this cubico flux channel model over here and it is kind of text to image okay so once this is done i'll do the test step and now as you can see as i told you we'll be getting one id for which we have to call again and again to find out is the status completed or not so you can see currently status is pending okay so i'll go back and now the thing that which i was telling about polling so this is how polling work now in the if loop as you can see now uh, let me go over here into the get part first so this is kind of a get api get api for to get the status of task so for this we will go to the bottom part over here so for that in the left hand side you can see we have this get task so and i can click on get task and now this is the api same i can click on this api part i will get copied and i can paste over here so task id which we got earlier i'll pass the task id over here task slash kind of task id and from this thing and we need to just uh, select the header which we created earlier and just call the test uh, step over here as you can see the status is completed because i took this amount of time to explain to you that's the reason it got completed but it won't get completed in the one time we have to wait for some time so we'll get different different status over here okay so in the if part we'll always check is the status equal to completed or not if it is completed well and good we proceed ahead if it is not completed if it is false then we come then we come over here in the wait part and we wait for some defined amount of time over here so in my case it is five seconds then again it will go into the get part and from this thing we'll get the status again again we'll check is the status completed or not if not just loop again this is called as polling 
okay so once this is done so now we have got the complete proper so we will go in the true branch and now we need to generate the video so now our image has been generated so if you want to see the image in the get part we can go in the bottom and in the output side we can see we have image url we can copy it and we can paste in and you can see so amazing and so high definition video image it is created and you can see you can imagine like it's your hand and you are seeing this whole thing now from this thing we are going to create the video okay so we'll go to the um, workflow now it's time to create the video so for the video part i'm using runway ml okay so for that let's go to the documentation so in the google just search runway you will get the first uh, web link over here this is the link of runwayml.com we can click on get started so over here you can play around whatever you want you can just drop the image and you can describe what uh, what kind of a prompt you want and you will get the uh, image over here to just to, to just see how does it work but we want the api so for that we'll go in the left left hand side we'll click on the go to dashboard this is the dashboard over here and now we want to get the api so for that in the left hand side in the f part we can see we have runway api over here we'll click over here take me to runway api and you can see we have the api key billing and everything so you need to put 10 dollar minimum billing over here so i have put that over here this 10 dollar would last a long time so this 10 dollar is the worth price to pay to create such kind of amazing video over here okay so i have done the 10 dollar payment you can see from the 10 dollar i got the thousand per credit over here at the end i'll show you how much total cost we have done so by forgetting each and everyone how does how how much was the video how much was image and how much was kind of prompt generation okay so now once we have got so now we need to go to the docs part this is the docs now we need to create in the api reference so now we can see we have this api over here and and the best part we have curl command over here so curl makes everything simple just do the copy curl over here go to the workflow and the http access and just import curl paste over here and import and as you can see everything is properly filled and now we can see in the header part also we have authorization bearer but as you know we'll be doing a different approach and i already done so i would be not doing it again so let me delete this part uh this is not the part yeah delete this part and over here these are all the same thing which we have done over here and the same way which we created the header will be in the same way we'll be creating the header for the runway account over here we'll go to the generic credential type we'll go to the header auth and in the header auth over here we'll be creating a new header authorization in the value part we need to put bearer and the api key and from where you will get the api key so once you have done the billing so in the queue you have to come to the api key and uh, and new api key and then you will get the api key over here okay let's go to the workflow and just paste the api key over here and everything will be sorted okay i won't be doing it again and now one more thing so this all thing will be by default but to make sure just make sure that this uh in in the header version x runway version is mentioned and all the other thing prompt images there which we generated from the uh, pi api in the seed this is kind of a normal thing to generate the same kind of output okay model we are using gen 4 turbo in the prompt which ai agent gave us duration we want five seconds you can make it more and just make sure to keep this as 721280 to create a vertical image okay and now we'll do the test step and as i told you earlier each and every model certainly works in the same sense this also gave us one of the id using this id we can do the status get status part and we can check does uh, we uh, does it completed or not if not we'll wait for some time and call it again to get api so for that we'll come over here again to the documentation in the bottom part if we go we have this get task detail and also we have the curl command just copy this curl command and it's, it's normal kind of a uh, request so in this we have to go and we have the url task slash the id which we got and the same header which we have in the runway version so we if we do the test step so you can see we have got the output if not it would have run in the same sense let's copy this output and let's see how it look like and as we can see such an amazing amazing video over here so you just imagine this is only just five second video we can create different different prompt for different different scenario and what an amazing wonderful video it will create so you can see the power of ai how what kind of image it can generate so we have got this now it's time to save to the uh, google sheet so for that first we need to come over here in the if part we'll check uh, if it is succeed or not it is succeeded so we'll go to the two true branch and in the google sheet now what we need to do we need to have the same credential account over here and then we need to do uh, mapping each column manually and we need to map through the row, row number if you go in the google sheet in the first place trigger place in google sheet we can see we have the row number if you go to the google sheet we can see we have this row number over here okay so we need to map on the row number then we need to change the approval status to completed we need to paste the image url which we got from the pi api we need to paste the video url which we got from the runway and just do the test step 
and if you go to the sheet we can see it is completed and we have the image and we have the video url over you i hope you like the video no 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 it's not whole hope you like the video because we need to find the costing of each and every part over here so for the runway api we can see we are using gen4 turbo over here so for each second we spend five credits over here okay and as you can see for the five second video we'll spend 0.25 dollar so we have to minimum top up with it kind of 10 dollar using which we'll get the thousand uh, credit over here so for the five second video your 0.25 dollar it means that your 25 credit will be eliminated. So if I show you my billing part, so here you can see I currently have 675 uh, credit over here. So in the starting, I top up with $10. I got 1000 credit. Okay. And in the usage part, you can see today I have generated four video. So I have spent kind of 100 credits over here. So this is the usage for the video model. So now let's find out for the image model. So for the image generation part, we can see it is very cheap over here. So we are just spending $0.0015. Okay for to generate one image the model which you are using and and i told you i have brought the best for you because there are other services using which you can use this flux channel model so if i show you this is kind of one of the very famous replicate so this charges 0.003 it's kind of a double of what we are paying to the pi api so you can see this pi api is such an amazing uh, tool over here so which can help you to select from so many different models and at, and at a very cheap price so you can see it's kind of a 0.0015 dollar over here okay so now for the ai agent uh, prompt so for the ai agent output over here so as you can see it's kind of less than 0.01 it's not showing exact over here but it is very cheap as you know kind of a text model LLM model it's way, it, is, it is way cheaper than the image in the video model so total you can see in the right hand side this is how much cost for the five second video if you want to create more video like five second ten second if you want to create multiple uh, different different timeline five seconds should have such scenario like in the pov video which you saw you can create such kind of video just comment down your thought do you want to see such videos so i'll make such videos if you like the video please press the like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friend we'll meet in the next video till then take care